Last time on Final Fantasy 16. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. Kiss her! Clive, where are you? God damn it, Gav! Ah. Jill! Oh yeah! Is Torgo a dominant? It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. Oh! I just cut off his hands! We're taking his power! Another time, Mythos. No! Is that Ultima? Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. So, last time, we went to Rosaria because Kupka was officially invading, and he set a trap for us, which he captured us and was going to execute Jill right in front of us to make us feel his pain of losing Benedicta, but then Torgal surprised us all by changing into something like similar to an icon. It was like, it had like, a, it, like Torgal like primed or something. I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but it would explain how Torgal is able to go into all those places with the ether and everything and not, you know, die. So that would be very interesting to find out, which hopefully we will. Then we finally had our confrontation with Kupka, and, you know, during which we cut off his hands, and just when we were about to take him down, we absorbed his power, which stalled us long enough for someone who called us Mythos, the same way that Ultima does, to take Kupka away. So now we're retreating back to the hideaway. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's, back when he had some like. Hmm. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman? About what? <clears throat> about your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Hmm. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. All right, let's go see Otto. Bolt from the blue. Ah, the power of Earth. You're right. We have the wind-up ability now. Attuning with Titan not only changes the element of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Okay. Oh, so it's like a block. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. 
You got more for me, little guy? Muddy murderer. Rumor uh, spreading throughout the southern reaches of Rosaria of a pool of opulent ooze that's been sighted in the moors and shadow and, and meadows of the area. While it resembles not but a puddle of strange sludge from a distance, and in manner a beast that draws too close is met with slimy hands. Okay. And it's in Aldehill, uh, Alde Rosaria. Okay. Well, good to know. Any quests? How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Think no. you can help? No quests. Not all of the nobles made it out of life. Arthur, is now a good time? <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who are you? Very attractive lady. When did you get back? Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. Wait. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face <clears throat> I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I have to check something. Mididol Talamon. Is she Sid's daughter? I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. The storeroom, was it? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what Mid's plotting. I wonder if... Uh, I, I, I think that's... I think that Sid's last name was Talamon, but I, I need to check. So yeah, I went and checked, um, like, you know, the research stuff, like, with Tome. Yeah, Mid is Sid's daughter. Holy crap! You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point, then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now, all right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? 
What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <laughs> Getting to work. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. She has a kind of pushiness that Sid has, but in a much more energetic kind of way. Oh god, I like it. Not to mention she's uh <laughs> very pretty. Like that energy is infectious and I love it. Was wondering where you'd got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Wouldn't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water. And that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you. Nice. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Ooh, grindstone. Levin bolt in the earth shard. All right, Titan Channel. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm close to having that one, but not quite. This new sword I've got, it's like a mixture of like Levin Bolt and like an Earth Sword. It's pretty cool. Should be enough to keep us. How do, Master Sid? Part off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom. And she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching. And if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have. But the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> it don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Alrighty. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home. Finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, ain't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there, then. Cressida, huh? Right, I wanted to go here because apparently there'll be a beastie here for me to battle. Maybe not, like, right here, but... Oh, hey, Torgal. I didn't know Torgal was going to be with me. Figured Torgal might be back at the hideout, you know? Hmm. What the... Oh! Oh! There it is! I found it! It wasn't anywhere near where I... it said it was supposed to be, but... I found it! Now it's time to kill the Flan Prince! Tornado? That doesn't seem good. You bitch!
Whoa, 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 you have all kinds of elemental powers. Too bad you don't got fire. Ow. Oh boy, this guy is a lot stronger than uh, I thought. Oh, I didn't realize his level until now. Ow! There's a good one I can't go on. Oh, fuck! Oh, damn. Okay, a little... I'm not giving up. I'ma kill this motherfucker. Run like the wind. There you are, you bitch. You deserve a rest. Oh, yeah, now you in trouble. Dual cast? Oh, whoa! Ow, you bitch. Hands down! Okay. That is kind of cool. Okay, wind and uh, earth it looks like. Okay, oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, I didn't notice the earth one. Ow. Stupid headbutt. You asshole! Oh my god. This thing has been a pain in the ass. Got him. Notorious Mark Slain. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That got me a shit ton of money. And a full level up. Nice. But I stood now. Whatever it was. It apparently was a flan. Possibly a fantasy flan. Bye fantasy flan. I plan to see Flan. Uh, if you don't understand the reference, that's okay. All right. So this is where Bernard's supposed to be, the other carpenter. Uh-oh. Hi. I bet the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh. Do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And uh, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh... Couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. 
Yeah, I figured that's something to do with those monsters. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. All right. Torgal and I'll deal with them. All right. Let's do it. This shouldn't take long. Enemies are at a good level, too, so they'll give us some good experience, so no problems. Oh, come on. I want the vulture. There we go. I know I really haven't been using Kupka's power yet, but that's because I want to get his, um, like, his limit break before I, uh, slot it in, because I can only have up to three, which sucks, because that means I'm going to have to give up one of the good ones, because I've, I've had a good thing going, being able to, like, you know, stun lock them and everything with all of these, but... Uh, and I don't want to give up, like, Judgment Bolt, because it's my most powerful. But at the same time, I mean, like, I definitely want to try it. New enemies approach, huh? What do we got? Looks like a dragon. Yep, a wyver. Too slow. Ah, there we go. What I would like to do eventually is get enough um, experience uh, points to be able to um, level up, um, like, uh, Kupka's stuff, and then, like, just slot them into um, uh, Garuda so I could still use that. Because, like, Garuda's ability to pull enemies down is super useful. Whereas Koopka's block ability, while useful, is not as prevalent. You know? Ooh, very nice. Ooh, a dragon talon. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Hmm. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Ah, oh, well, that's good. I like these mandatory missions we that take, take on. Take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Yeah, probably a good idea. I can almost get this one. I just need to do a few more battles. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'm off to the hideaway again. All right, I've got enough. 
There we go. You know, actually, let's see about getting into a battle to check out all of these, because we haven't even seen any of them yet. I know there's a few more enemies around here. Yeah, that is kind of cool. It is hard to get enemies down, though. Oh, thank you, Torgal. Huh. You have to, like, time and release them. Oh, I see. If you release at the right time, it does massive damage. Okay, that's cool. Let's see what else we got. Let's check out the other two. Well, that is pretty cool. I'm not going to deny, you know. Oof. Let's see. That's not bad. Nowhere near as good as Judgment Bolt, though. Yeah, that's definitely not as um, cool as I was hoping it would be. I'm actually going to switch back to Ramu because I like it better. It works better with my playstyle. You know, I was going to say, this new sword, um, it almost looks like a Keyblade. It's really interesting how much, like, it almost looks like a Keyblade. At least the, uh, the, uh, the, the tip of the sword does, anyway. Alright, Clive? You all done, then? I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. God, she's just a bundle of energy, and I love it. Mm, my reputation's gone up a lot. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Good plan. Oh, a couple of missions, though. All right. Ah, uh, Clive. Talia, how's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. You were the one with the side quest. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden, and we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential, and we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. I still wish there was some other way. Huh? Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brat. Hmm. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herblor like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. 
Got it. Got another quest here. Wonder what that one's about. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from, but I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Okay. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stocked for a while. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. All right, now we're moving on to the other quest. Ah, oh, no, look, get get on Ambrosia. Faster. There we go. Hello, Antelops. God, Ambrosia so fast. Oh, the Dragon Airy, right? They said it was around here, didn't they? Oh, I think they. I think we found them. You deserve a rest. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. Oh, Jesus. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. <laughs> good to see you too, buddy. All righty. Oh, it's literally within eye's view. Okay. Well, that's good at least. They're trying to get into the carriage. Yeah. Yeah, well, not on my watch. God, he got Torgal with that one. Oh, and Torgal fired right back. Got him. You. 
friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. All right. Sid, welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months. And then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we Cursebreakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. Cole, I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them, but I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. Hmm. <laughs> I like that one. That one's good. Yeah. All right. We'll now we'll go hand over the earth. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death, and even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives, and the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. 
be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Wow, I didn't know that the brand um, had, like, poison in it. That if you screwed up, it could kill someone. Wow, it makes sense why, like, you know, more people don't get it removed. It's not just, like, you know, cutting the brand itself off. Holy shit. I thought it would be, like, a relatively simple process, but I was wrong. All right, let's go see about Torgal real quick. And then we'll call it good for this episode. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. Oh. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. <laughs> Some time later. I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Hmm. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's been any progress tracking down Kupka. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. Hmm. Well, now that that's all finished, I think that before we go and talk to Miss Ninetales, we will cut it here for this episode. 
Oh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. It's been mostly, you know, a side quest episode, but hey, still good. Still a good episode. Next time, looks like we're going to talk to Vivian about where Kupka might be and figure out where, you know, we go to next. I honestly have no idea. So, thank you everybody once again. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you're not already, ring the bell for all them notifications is. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.